everyone thought he was a weird loser, but he turns out to be the strongest fighter in high school. Sakura Haruka has a weird hair color and different colored eyes. Because of this, he has been discriminated against and feared by everyone. However, no one could dare to bully him because he is extremely good at fighting. He loves the strong and has no interest whatsoever in the weak. But the weak who pretend to be strong, disgusting. Fed up with the constant hate he receives, he decides to change schools and go to another town. He takes admission to Furin High School, notorious for having the strongest fighters in all of Japan, and aims to reach the top there. Hi, I'm Unruly Anime. The story begins as we watch someone barely managing to stay on a tightrope. Students gossip about how he just got into another fight and how he is nothing but trouble. Even the parents discuss how dangerous he is. Everyone thinks that he's too dangerous to even look at, but it's to be expected since everyone knows that he doesn't know how to interact with people. They insult his appearance, citing how he refuses to dye his hair black. Even the color of one of his eyes is wrong, and they use that to say that he must be cursed. Everyone thinks he is disgusting, and the kid eventually falls off the rope. We then see our angry protagonist for the first time, Sakura. He explains that he likes the strong and couldn't care less about the weak. Nearby, some guys harass a girl and wonder if she wants to go do something. She would like to bash some eggs over their heads, but that would just be a waste of good eggs. The guy warns her not to act so stuck up, and he keeps her from leaving. Sakura then explains that what he hates the most are weak people who think they are strong. Sakura interferes with the gang of harassers and tells them that it's too early to be acting so lame. The leader tries to attack Sakura, but unfortunately, he is one of the types that Sakura hates the most. <laughs> Sakura easily drops to the ground and wonders what could possibly be going on in his head that makes him think that he is strong when he is not. Sakura demands that they drill his name and face into their brains so that they can tell all the weak people they know to run away from him when they see him. Sakura is some kind of psychopath, as he also wants them to know his name so that they can tell all the strong people how to find him. He declares that he is Sakura Hakura from Furo High School. Sakura leaves these jerks, but the girl stops him to say thank you. Sakura is confused and wonders if she is talking to him. She confirms that she was, and Sakura makes it very clear that he actually didn't do that to save her. She only beat those guys up because they annoyed him. Sakura declines her offer to eat something, but she ends up feeding him anyway. She can tell that he isn't from this town, and it's pretty rare for anyone to come visit. She explains that the gang he had just fought has been causing a lot of problems, and the town's public safety has become non-existent. She admits to not being from this town either and introduces herself as Takabana. Sakura can't understand why she's being so nice, since most people would be afraid of him, especially after he just beat up five guys. Sakura begrudgingly eats her food when she asks him to, but he is shocked by how amazing it is. He wonders if her restaurant does take off, but she corrects him. As the dummy is trying to say, take it out. Takabana points out that his eye and hair colors are all out of whack, and he wonders if she has a problem with them. She is more amazed than anything, but the paranoid Sakura thinks she wants the brawl. Sakura is surprised because normally people are grossed out by his appearance, and they demand that he dye his hair. Sakura explains that looks don't matter in a fight, and that is why he came to Furin. Furin is known for having students with the worst grades, but they are also the best fighters. <laughs> They are the people that slip through the cracks at other schools and end up at Furin. Hero Fraction brawls every day to decide who is on top. Their dedication to fighting is so strong that they even fight on holidays, and Sokka is determined to become the top dog. Takabana points out that this is aiming pretty high, but Sakura reveals that the reality is that he is just as dumb as a brick, and fighting is all he knows. To him, nothing sounds better than fighting to be number one, and this place is perfect for him. It soon becomes clear to Takabana while he's in uniform already, when school doesn't even start until tomorrow. It's because he's excited. The embarrassed Sakura explains that he just moved, so he didn't have anything else to wear. But she just teases him more. Our boy Sakura resorts to fighting, as always, and demands that they take this argument outside. Just then, when one of Tashabana's elderly customers almost forgets his to-go bag, Sakura reminds him as Sakura heads home. He thinks about how strange that entire interaction was. The old man gave him some candies and told Takabana to thank him. Sakura isn't used to so much praise, so he calls the entire town weird, including Takabana. 
he points out that he's wearing the uniform of a school of delinquents, and his appearance is really strange as well. It doesn't make sense for people to be thanking him. Normal people would be on their guard around him and wouldn't trust him. Sakura once picked up someone's wallet, and they accused him of stealing it just then. Takabana explains that Sakura made the right choice by coming to Furin, but unfortunately, there's no possible way he will become the top dog. Shockingly, she states that he might not even beat anyone there, let alone the top dog. Sakura points out that she has no clue how strong he is. She acknowledges that he might have strong muscles but explains that he still won't be able to become the top dog. The problem that he has is that he is all alone. Sakura becomes furious and declares that he's not so weak that he needs to rely on anyone else to win. As he leaves, Takabana clarifies that she isn't talking about physical strength. She recommends that he go meet some furious kids. Since then, he will understand. Nearby, a group of hoodlums wreak havoc, and some poor lady calls someone for help. Sakura runs into the guys from earlier, and the leader is surprised that he came. <laughs> he calls our boy furious trash, but Sakura just tries to ignore him. The leader points out that he didn't forget his face and marks Sakura for his appearance. This guy is shocked when he realizes that this is Sakura's real hair and eye color. They thought that he was just doing some terrible cosplay, but he points out that it being real is even more disgusting. Sakura smiles, as this is what a normal reaction to his appearance is supposed to be like. This is the disgust that he has gotten used to, but it's okay because he has given up on the tent. Sakura still wants to feel like he has value. If he can beat whoever's in front of him, then he can feel like he is better than them. The problem is that Sakura can't stop thinking about how Takabana told him that he wouldn't be the top dog because he is alone. The leader declares that his gang will start a war against Furin over Sakura punching him, but Sakura isn't even listening. He's still focused on Tashabana's words as he punches the leader again. And he declares that he isn't the one avoiding people. Sakura lets out his true feelings about his appearance. It doesn't make sense how people act. He knows better than anyone that he looks weird, but he never did anything to the people who insulted him. This is just who he is. Sakura starts beating down on this huge group of figs. In his mind, as long as he is the strongest and the best fighter, he will be the top dog. Being alone has nothing to do with it. The gang tries to attack him all at once, but it's no use as Sokka is far more skilled than them. Sakura instantly takes on any opponent that comes near him, and the fight is somehow heavily one-sided even though Sakura is outnumbered. Just then, one of the thugs takes Takabana hostage, but he pays dearly for this very stupid move as Sakura instantly knocks him out. Takabana thanks him, but Sakura once again explains that the thugs just pissed him off. They tried to use a knife, so he tells the idiots to keep the fight clean. One guy tries to sneak up on him, but he just ends up learning a valuable lesson. Sakura fights off even more of them, but he is hindered by having to stay in one place to defend Takabana. He wonders why he's defending her in the first place, and he reminds himself that helping others never ends well. Still, Sakura continues to defend her, but eventually one of the thugs uses the knife to cut his leg. Sakura is in a really bad spot now and thinks about how this is why he doesn't defend people. He once again questions why he decided to help her and prepares to take a bat right to his skull. Just then, someone stops the attack. And Sakura notices that this stranger is wearing a fury in uniform. This guy surprisingly stopped the bat with his back. And he told Takabana not to tell a certain person that she was in danger. This guy wipes out the bat wielder and tells the punks that they made a real mess in this town. His buddies arrive, and the guy furiously tells the gang that they are in big trouble. Backup has arrived, but they are disappointed to see so few opponents, as they didn't all need to come to fight. Sakura is in absolute shock, as he can't understand why Fury is saving him. The thugs are terrified to see the one named Haragi, but they are confident they can win since they outnumber them by a lot. Hiragi tells the others to make quick work of these guys, so they begin to absolutely demolish them. One guy goes to attack Sakura, and Sakura gets caught in a terrible spot as his leg can't move. Hiragi saves him again and tells Sakura to stand back if he is hurt. <laughs> Sakura furiously points out that he is not his boss and explains that the thugs were his to fight. Hiragi just tells him to stop moving around since it makes it harder for them to protect him. Sakura is completely shocked, 
and he looks around to find that the people of the town are cheering on the Furan guys. Sakura, I can't believe what he is hearing. And Takabana reminds him about how she said that the town's public safety was nearly non-existent. However, this was only true up until two years ago. That all changed, and it was all thanks to the students of Furan. The first thing they did was put a notice board at the town's entrance. It states that if someone brings trouble to their town by harming people or property, they will be the ones to purge them, no matter who they are. Takabana explains that somewhere along the line, the townspeople gave the Furan students a new name because they fight to protect the town. They are known as the towns, and both have a urine shield called a windbreaker. After the fight, all the townspeople came out to thank the boys. Although they used to be known as low-grade hoodlums, the Furan students are now well-respected in the community. However, they still fight quite a bit. They are beloved by everyone, but most importantly, they are needed. Sakura is shocked at how different this town is. Since the fighters are treated like heroes, they have the appearance of thugs, and they even fight all the time, but no one is afraid of them. Sakura is overwhelmed with emotion, and he is shocked when the townspeople tell him that he did a great job holding on on his own. Some little old lady even offers to treat his wound, but Sakura can't take all the kindness and demands that they all stop. Takabana calmly begins to tend to his wound and reminds him that she said that he was alone. However, she explains that she could tell right away that he wasn't choosing to be. She can't figure him out completely, but she explains that the people of this town need his strength. Sakura can't handle everything that's happening, and he declares that he doesn't need anyone and doesn't get involved. Takabana is quick to point out, though, that his actions say something different. He reminded the old man about his bag, and he also fought hard to protect her. Takabana points out that he actually hasn't given up on people, and he doesn't have to. At the very least, she declares that she won't turn her back on him, so she asks that he turn towards her as well. Takabana is sure that this will be the way he can become who he wants to be. Sakura still has a hard time accepting it all, and he makes a mad dash towards the others. He leaps into the air and points out how the delinquents seem to be playing hero now. He admits that all this stuff about being the town shield sounds really cool, and he absolutely destroys the gang leader that was terrorizing the town. Everyone watches in shock, and Sakura wonders if people really stick by him there. We then learn that this is the story about how a low-grade pariah who only knew how to fight became the town hero. I appreciate you viewing my anime recap, Unruly Family. Please let me know what you think about Windbreaker by liking, sharing, subscribing, and leaving a comment.